months. All right, Chuck, so let's get to those vacation plans. If your fall break included a trip to Florida, maybe, you know, to the Carolinas, you could be out of luck. Greg Sider from AAA joins us right now to go over the options. And, Greg, I mean, where do we start? I mean, there are so many people with vacation plans in limbo right now. What advice would you have for them? Well, honestly, there aren't a lot of options. Uh, the best advice I can give at this point is that people really need to get in touch with their travel agents. They really need to call ahead as far as the hotels that they've booked at, uh, even airlines. It's important to check with those airlines because those can change. Those plans can change uh, very quickly, and we need to plan ahead just to make sure that we're all safe. You mentioned airlines. In this situation, airlines are going to waive fees, change fees, correct? In most cases, yes, but it's important, again, to confirm that, and that's why you really should have travel insurance at this point. Uh, if you don't, uh, you may be out of luck. And so I advise getting in touch with that travel agent, confirming what kind of travel insurance that you have, and then, of course, confirming also with the airline itself. When you look at this storm, I mean, it, you, we just showed you a, a, a look at the Doppler on that storm. It looks bad. Category 3, Chuck talked about it could be the worst storm in over 100 years. This is not a storm where you say, well, we'll put off our plans for a week. Correct? Correct, absolutely. And yet we know that there will be people who insist on still making their trips. And if you're going to be doing that, you're putting yourself at risk, you're putting others at risk. You know, this isn't about getting your money's worth. This isn't about trying to get the best that you can at this point. It's all about safety. And we strongly advise that people cancel or alter their trips. Avoid the East Coast, avoid Florida at this point. Uh, it's really the best thing that they can do. And then you have people who say, well, I was going to fly, but now I'll drive. But that's equally dangerous. It is. The roadways are going to be very busy anyway. And once you approach the East Coast, probably going to find some areas that are short on gas. Uh, in many cases because people have been hoarding and, and trying to build up gas supplies. Also, you're going to find that roadways are going to be very busy. You're going to find that the roads, roads are going to be flooded in some cases. Never, ever drive through a flooded area. Never drive through even large puddles. You don't know how deep that puddle is, what the pothole represents. And uh, if you do get stranded, if you find yourself stranded on the roadway in water, Get out of your car immediately. Do not stay there because we know rushing water can come through very quickly. Very quickly. A website that they can go to for more information? AAA.com. It's easy to find. AAA.com. Greg Sider, thank you so much. Thank you.